Hello and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed learning and practicing HTML and also the coding exercise. Now let's shift our focus back to our Rails application for a bit. We have an application, which is a shell application, and when I run the server, so Rails server dash b 0.0.0.0, and then if I preview the application, this is the page that shows up. Now this is the default Rails page. I want to add a page, okay? I want to add a home page to my application. So what do I need to add a basic home page to our application? Now I'm gonna put up the Rails MVC diagram and see what is needed at a minimum to get this going. So let me pull up that diagram. There it is. Okay, so if you remember, at a minimum, we need a route. So when a user enters a link, we need a route, we need a controller, and we need a view, okay? So this is the minimum that is required to display a page in the application. We don't need to get in the persistence layer which deals with the database and model. We don't need to do that. So let's go ahead and build it. Route, controller, and action, all right? So back to our IDE over here. I'm going to, I'm going to leave the server running and I'll click on this plus sign here to open a new terminal and then navigate over to my application. So CD code rails underscore projects and test underscore app. Okay, so in my application, first thing I'm going to do is go to config and then my routes.rb file, okay? So I want to create a route for my application, right? So let me go to the page and over here, let me write the link that I want to go to. So let's say I want to go to welcome controller and then home action. Okay, so welcome and then home. All right, so what is it saying? No route matches welcome home. So let's go ahead and create this route. If you go back to your IDE, right here, the command to see what routes are available in our application is rake space routes. Hit enter. You don't have any routes defined. All right, so let's create our first route. Over here, see this line that says root welcome index? You could use that, you could uncomment that to create a root route for your application. But what I want to do is I want to do this, get, and within quotes, I'll enter in the route that I want. So welcome slash home, all right? And then I want this to go to welcome controller home action, all right? So now let's see what that did. So get within quotes welcome slash home to welcome pound home. So what does that do? Let me type in rake routes again. Check it out, I have a route now. The prefix is welcome home, the verb. That, now this where it says verb is the HTTP verb, okay? So I'm saying get. This is the HTTP get request and it's going to direct it to the welcome controller home action, okay? So now that I have a route, okay, so I'm gonna go over here and then reload this page, which is slash welcome slash home. Now notice the error is different. Now it says uninitialized constant welcome controller. So if I refer back to my MVC diagram, here it is. So now I have a route, but I don't have a controller. So let me go and create the controller now. So to create the controller in the app directory, if you look at the controllers folder over here, right click, new file, welcome controller.rb, okay? Now double click on it. Now here, you're going to say class and then welcome controller. Now the W and the C are going to be caps, okay? uppercase. 
This is called camel case, where each word, the first letter is uppercase. Okay, so welcome controller and then left arrow, which means it extends from our subclasses application controller. Now application controller, again, a camel case. So caps A and caps C. Okay, end. So now I have a welcome controller. Let me save that and I'll reload this page. Now it's saying the action home could not be found for welcome controller. Over here, if you look at the routes.rb file, notice how I'm sending it to the home page. So home, right? And over here, if you look at it, slash welcome slash home, it goes to controller action, welcome controller, home action. So this home action is not there. Now when I say action, I mean the method, okay? So in the welcome controller, simply type in define home, end. That's it. So now I have a home action. So let me reload this page. Now it says template is missing. Missing template welcome slash home. All right. So now it has the action and everything, but it can't find the template. So I'm going to scroll down to my views. Okay. So in my views, right click, new folder. All right. And you're going to call this welcome. All right. So I hope you see a pattern over here, but we'll discuss this later. This is Rails convention. We have a welcome controller. So we need a welcome folder under views. So by convention, it's going to look for a welcome folder in views when you have a welcome controller. And since the action is home, right here, I'm going to right click and create a new file under the welcome folder and call it home.html.erb. Now this is going to be my template. All right. So if I go here, the home.html.erb, h1 tag, this is home page. Save that. Now if I reload this, check it out. I have a home page. So now I have a page that's separate from the default Rails welcome page. All right, great. Now what if we want another page? Now that we have created the home page, what if we want another page? Let's say an about page. How do we do that? Now what I recommend you do at this time is pause this video and take a minute to create the about page the same way that we created the home page, okay? So what you're looking for is an about action in the welcome controller and then a template underneath here. Go ahead, pause this video and I'll be back in a second. And don't forget the route. All right, so I hope you manage that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to my routes file and then I'll add a route. So get welcome about comma to welcome controller about action. And over here, I'll go to welcome controller about action. It says the action about could not be found for welcome controller. All right, so let's build the about action, define about and save that. Okay, missing template, welcome about. So right here in the welcome folder, since I already have it, I'm going to right click, new file, about.html.erb. All right, so over here, I'll say h1, hello, this is the about page. Save that. If I reload this, perfect. So now I have my home page and I have, whoops, let me reload this. I have my about page. Okay, perfect. Now, what if I want to link the two pages to each other instead of typing them out in the URL over here? How do I do that? 
For that, we're going to use embedded Ruby for the first time. All right. So over here in my home page, I'll start with the home page first. I want to have a link to the about page. And in the about page, I want to have a link to the home page. Now, what will this link look like? What we're going to call them are paths. Okay. So if you look here, if I type in rake routes, now I have a welcome home and a welcome about. This part is called a path. So the actual path in Ruby code would be welcome underscore home underscore path. And for the about would be welcome underscore about underscore path. What am I talking about? Let's try it out. Over here, to enter Ruby code in an ERB template, what you need to do is left arrow percentage, okay? and then a percentage right arrow to close the tag. So whatever you put in here, the system is going to ex expect this to be Ruby code, all right? And the way you enter a link is type in link underscore two, and then within quotes, whatever you type in will be what's displayed. So I'll say link to about, all right? And then comma, and then you'll enter in the path over here that you want the link to go to. And we know that the link we want to go to is welcome about. So welcome underscore about, but this will not work. What you need to do is append a underscore path to it. All right, so link to about, welcome about path. Save that. Similarly, I'm going to copy this, command C, and in the about page, command V, this one I'm going to change to link to home and then welcome home path. Save that. Let's try it. So let's go to the home page. All right, so we have both done. This is the about page, so let me reload. There's no link. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on in a second. First, let's look at the home page also. Again, there's no link. What's going on is whatever is evaluated within within the left arrow percentage and then the percentage right arrow this is ruby but in order to display anything what you need to do is put an equals so when you put an equals it's going to render whatever is evaluated here all right now if you want simple ruby you just do this but if you want anything to show up on the page you need the equals all right this will render whatever is evaluated here so let's add that here also, save that over here. There it is, there's my about link. Click on that, it goes to the about page, perfect. And over here we have the home page link, click on that, this is the home page. All right, so our links are working, great. So back to my IDE, now I have a homework assignment for you and this is very important, all right? So I'm going to note down the steps here and I want you to pay very careful attention to this. So I'll get rid of all the information in the readme file and I'll write down the steps here, okay? So create a new Rails application and call it alpha-blog, okay? So basically using the steps we have taken so far for this test app, Create a new Rails application and call it alpha blog. All right, step two. Once you've created it, ensure you can run the server and preview the application. Basically, the default Rails welcome page. Then within it, create a pages controller. Here, we have named it welcome controller, okay? but I want you to name it pages underscore controller dot RB in the new Rails application. So similarly, the folder name will be pages instead of welcome. Okay. Ensure you have appropriate routes. Create a home page. So your pages controller will have a home action and an about page, so an about action, similar to what we've done so far for our test app and make sure you can link them one to the other.
Okay, now as far as the design for the home page, here I want you to enter in. So in the home.html erb, notice how we have nothing. We just said this is a home page. Here, enter in HTML that you completed in the prior homework assignment to build your pure HTML home page. Basically, take that code and paste it over here. All right. And similarly, in the about page, try to stick to that same theme if you have a theme for that home page. So it looks like it's part of the same application, basically. Okay. And if you don't like that, then you can enter in new HTML code and make this look however way you want. All right. And once you've done it, put an image of this home page in the discussion area so myself or other students can take a look at your home page. Okay, great. So now in the next lecture, I've provided a tech solution for this step by step process on how to create a new Rails application and how to name the controller and the actions, etc. if you get stuck at any point. But I will not give you the HTML code for the home page and the about page because that's completely up to you how you want to design that. All right. So good luck and I'll see you in the next video.